Everyone to our week two battle plan. Um, this is the battle plan for 519 2016. And uh, we've got some cool new things this week I'm going to go over. Uh, save the best for last. So I'm just going to kind of go in order of the website here. So uh, another big week. Uh, we have a double XP event coming up where you get double XP both on command and character rank. Uh, this weekend, it'll run from 8 p.m., uh, 11 a.m., or 8, 8 a.m. Pacific Time, 11 a.m. Eastern Time for those of us in America, um, tomorrow, which will be Friday, through um, 8 a.m. Wednesday. So that's a long-ass weekend, Friday to Wednesday. Uh, this is a great time to uh, kind of get some of your characters up uh, I know I've been working on Cleese, but I've also been kind of playing some Deonde, so I'm excited to be able to get both of them up pretty quickly, as well as mainly finally get Shannon and Aurochs up to level 15. Once I pass level 12, I kind of calmed down on them. It'd be cool to get the skin and the title, but once I got the last mutator, that's what I was mainly focused on. So double XP, I think, is really sweet. Uh, allows us to get a lot of characters up. Some people were complaining the characters they like to play are already at level 15, but, dude, there's 25 characters. Play some more goddamn characters. You might be surprised and find one you like. So uh, a good way to do this is just go into a story with some friends or uh, maybe PvP private and just hit random on your characters and just see how you like some you maybe haven't spent time with. It's a good way to learn them. Hot fixes are a little light this week. Uh, there's a bug where Cleese became invulnerable. I wish I found that. That would have been cool. Um, added advanced story mode to allow players to play publicly ma public matches. That's really cool. A community was asking for this, and it has arrived. So uh, big deal there, I think. Uh, various performance fixes in the story mode missions, the Void's Edge, Renegade, and Heliophage. I don't know what those fixes are. Um, if I find out, I will let you guys know. Uh, and then continue adjustments to prove the quality of matchmaking. So the big one there is uh, advanced story being added to public. Community Spotlight. We have a new community badass, a uh, cosplayer. Uh, you guys should definitely come check that out. I'm not that familiar with them this time, unlike Fistmaster, so I don't have a lot to say there. Um, but I always like to give shout-outs to them. And then the big news... DLC character coming uh, next week uh, for some of us in the week after for the rest. Um, we are going to see Alani, the Eldred Water Warrior Monk. I think she looks pretty sweet. I'm pretty excited. She's going to be uh, kind of a hybrid support healer. So more offensively potent than Miko probably. Maybe along the lines of like Ambra, uh, Cleese, or Reyna, one of those three. So... She is water-based, so that's cool to see a character like that. I'm assuming that means some mid-range to close-range. Again, probably probably similar to Ombra in some ways, but Eldred. Uh, I love the Eldreds. I think they're all pretty sweet. Uh, probably pretty fast movement speed. Uh, the details on her. So um, she'll be released for everyone on May 31st. But if you had the season pass... Or if you played the open beta on PlayStation 4, you'll get her a week early on May 24th, which is next Tuesday. Um, sadly, that's the day Steam always goes down, so I'll be interrupted while I'm playing with her. Um, if you do not have the season pass, if you have the season pass, you unlock her for free. If you do not have that, um, you unlock her with 47,500 in-game credits. Yes, 47,500 I do think that's on the heavy side. Um, I hope they lower that. That's a lot of credits. That's going to take a while to build up that many. Uh, I've never hit that point. I mean, I do spend my credits as I get them. I think I've topped out at maybe like 25 at one point. But uh, that's that's a hefty amount. Uh, some people are not loving that right now. I'll just bring this image up kind of bigger for you guys to see. And there is Alani. Uh, they also have on a post here... If this will load nice and quickly for us. There we go. That is Alani, our uh, Eldred Water Priestess. 
So yeah, some uh, some good news there. Double XP and our first DLC character. Um, this means they are not releasing the DLC characters with the DLC story missions, which I thought they would. So we'll have to wait for some skins and taunts, and there's yet no word on the tier 2 or 3 skins. Um, they said that would be coming with the DLC. I don't know if they're considering the character or the first story missions. But that is what we have for this week's battle plan. Let me know what you guys think. I guess some pretty good news. Um, the patch is still coming. That just takes a little bit longer. That will fix some of the bigger issues people want. But uh, I, I think most of the character balancing kind of lays in there. And hopefully we see some of the lower tier guys maybe get buffed a little bit pretty soon too. But uh, let me know what you guys want. Uh, if you're excited about Alani, I know I am. I hope that motorcycle didn't come through my mic because I've got my windows open. I just noticed she's got webbed hands. That's kind of cool. Did not notice that before. She's kind of got some gills looking things over here too. I think those are gills on her neck too. Interesting. Well, once again, I will see you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.